The family of slain activist Randy Echanis hopes that his body will finally be released. This after fingerprint analysis proved that he was indeed the man killed in Quezon City last Monday. Ryan Ang with the details. Police officers on Wednesday prevented the holding of a holy mass in front of the Pink Petal Memorial in Quezon City, where the body of activist Randy Achanis is being withheld. They said mass gatherings are not allowed in Metro Manila under the prevailing quarantine restrictions. Because of this, a solidarity prayer was offered for Achanis instead. Kahit na meron tayong health protocol measures na ginawa, katulad ng physical distancing, at nag-alcohol naman tayo, and I'm sure lahat naman dito ay ayaw magkasakit, uh, hindi tayo nakapagmisa ng full-blown. Etchani's wife, Erlinda, is hoping that authorities will release the body on Wednesday after the results of the fingerprint cross-matching exam came out positive. Ang hinihintay na lang natin ay madala siya for autopsy. The Quezon City Police District earlier identified the body as Manuel Santiago based on an ID recovered from the crime scene. On Monday, they intervened during the cadaver's transfer, bringing it to another funeral home due to a supposed lack of a release order. Authorities also arrested a paralegal staff who was guarding the body. In a statement, the Free Legal Assistance Group condemned the killing of a Chinese and the person alongside him named Dewey Tagapia. The group also expressed outrage at the police for allegedly snatching the body of a Chinese from his family. For party list Gabriela, the killing of a Chinese, who was the peace consultant of the National Democratic Front of the Philippines, has implications in the socio-political condition of the country. Kung paanong ang mga naninindigan lumalaban kaiba or opposition ang, ang pagtindig sa mga usapin sa pamahalaan, usapin sa ating bayan ay hindi napapakinggan at pinapatay. Malaking usapin po yun. Ross has added that the case may reach human rights offices outside the country due to its severity. For News 5, Ryan Ang, We Are One News.